Hey, I'm Pastor Fred. This is the follow through. This whole week, we're going to get kind of dark. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, something that we hide, really, at all costs. We hide our weakness. I mean, think about it. Nobody says, hey, man, I'm messed up and, and I'm there. Now, sometimes people do that for sympathy. Um, but, you know, most of us really don't want to go there. I, I don't want anyone to know that I make mistakes. I don't want anyone to know maybe what I fear or what, you know, th those kinds of issues that I have. And so we hide them and we hide them. Uh, and, that, and that becomes really deadly, really, I think, in any part of our life, but especially in our spiritual lives. So today I want to look at 1 John uh, chapter 1. We're going to look at verse 9. And, uh, and this is what John says here. He says, if we confess our sins, that he is faithful. He's talking about Jesus. He's talking about God. And he says he's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So, so he says to confess. Like, and so instead of blaming everybody else for how I am and, and for what I did and, and, and those types of things, instead of rationalizing it, um, you know, making excuses, we do all these other things. And, and God's just saying, look, let's just talk. Like, like, why don't you just, right, pull up a chair, if you will, and, and let's get at what's really happening. Uh, and God is really the only one who's going to seriously do that on the level that he does that. Um, again, the people around us will say, oh, you're okay. And, you know, and the only time that someone will really maybe give us the honest truth is if we are going to, like, absolutely blow up and self-destruct and, and and it's going to be bad and we're going to get hurt and other people are going to get hurt, then somebody might say, well, let's do an intervention. Let's, let's chat. Let's talk about this. Let's get real. Uh, but, but God doesn't wait until it's that. In fact, you know, here's the reality is that it's, it's worse than any of that, really, spiritually for us. Uh, when, when the Bible talks about our, our, our true condition, it's the word sinner comes up. Uh, we are unclean. We are uh, lost. Dead is another word. Uh, spiritually speaking, that's kind of the deal uh, because of who we are and what we do. And that's why we needed Jesus to save us. So God says, confess. In other words, um, the word is literally translated as agree with. Agree with. Acknowledge. Say, all right, God, yeah, I see what you're saying. I see that you had this standard and I am not even remotely close to even being remotely close. And, and so uh, rather than struggle, rather than go through all of that, you know, we, we feel that pain, but we but we we are given something better. Better than than a plan to do uh, to, to, to sort of put things back together or whatever. No, God does that all for us. He heals us, He forgives us, He gives us life. Right? The, the passage says, you know, just give it all to Him. He's faithful. He's gonna clean us, He's gonna forgive us. All those things that are against him, all those things that don't measure up. And Jesus took those all on the cross, bled and died to forgive those things. He paid the price for those things. What an amazing, amazing thing. That someone would love you that much. Now, I hope you believe that. I hope you know that. I hope you, you feel like you can trust him with whatever's happening in your life. All right. I'm Pastor Fred. I really hope this helps. And if it does, please hit that subscribe button. And even better, man, just share this with somebody in your life who might need God's encouragement today. We'll talk to you next time.